Okay, so this is Drew Galloway. He gave a really uh, fun talk earlier today um, as part of the Civic Engagement Summit here at uh, UTSA. It was a very interactive talk. Uh, actually, if you want to see it, uh, you can go to nowcastsa.com. But uh, anyway, um, Mr. Drew Galloway, you are the new Politics Forum Program Coordinator at the Annette Strauss Institute for Civic Life in Austin. And so I'm just wondering, what brings you here today to the Civic Engagement Summit at UTSA? Well, I'm, uh, I'm, my name is Drew Galloway. I'm the New Politics Forum Program Coordinator at the Annette Strauss Institute for Civic Life. I'm very thankful to be here at the UTSA uh, Civic Engagement Summit, uh, which is hosted by uh, UTSA uh, Engage. Um, and I was invited to speak on the uh, state of Texas civic life and civic health, um, and then basically uh, to share some data on how we can improve uh, civic health here in Texas um, and what we can do to make a more engaged community. It's kind of crazy. Okay, and well, I'm wondering as part of the title of, uh, of your job at the Annette Strauss Institute is New Politics. What, what do they mean by New Politics? That's just really the name of the program, but um, it, it has to do with the fact that we um, work with millennials and college-age youth, um, and our job, or my job, is to link college-age youth with political pro practicing political professionals and elected officials, community organi organizers, um, and ultimately um, influence them to be more engaged in their community, build their networks, um, and hopefully make them more, better citizens, you know, in, in the future. And um, have you noticed uh, any particular issues that, uh, say, millennials um, are excited about uh, that relate to, you know, that they talk about and, and you know, civically engage? Well, you know, we're a nonpartisan institution, so we don't really talk a lot about, uh, you know, Republican versus Democratic values. Uh, we talk more about how can we get all the voices to the table. Um, and for millennials and college-age youth, that's definitely the digital uh, platforms and uh, the digital era. Um, so we're seeing lots of innovations in civic technology, um, lots of different, like, social platforms and social innovations to help uh, kind of br facilitate that bringing all the voices together and uh, encourage deliberation and encourage deliberatory de democracy. And have you been uh, seeing positive results of the deliberation? Sure. I mean, if you look, for instance, uh, you know, in Austin, there's a program called Conversation Core, um, and so that uh, program pulls lots of different uh, diverse uh, community members together to talk about um, issues uh, such as mobility or gentrification or affordability, that kind of thing. Um, and then there's also uh, the same program that's sort of popping up here in San Antonio, and I think that that program is called Speak Up, um, and so that's a good way locally here it's in San Antonio that you can get involved with uh, del deliberation and community uh, engagement. Well that's fantastic. You are actually a resident of San Antonio. That is correct. So, But I travel every day to Austin um, and travel every day back to San Antonio because the Alamo City is the place to be. Well, all right. Well, thank you very much, Drew. It was a, a, a really great talk, a very interactive talk, fun talk you gave. Uh, earlier today at the Civic Engagement Summit here at UTSA. And uh, he, uh, anyone can replay it and watch it at nowcastsa.com. And if you have any questions or you want to get our data sets or you want to learn more about Texas Civic Health, go to annettestrauss.org or follow us on Twitter at, at A Strauss, I N T, on Twitter. All right. Well, thank you very much, Drew. Thank you.